Mr. Speaker, I rise today to recognize an individual in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, who recently accomplished a major feat in his industry. Vincent Cabasso of Ambler has become the first professional golf association member from his home nation of Zambia, a country of 17 million people. I, I'm sure he believes in the American dream because that's uh, certainly not a Zambian dream. He's, he's just out of this world, that young man. I am proud of him and admire him a lot. He's, um, we've never grown up to have mentors, but I've just picked um, him to be my mentor because he's such a great guy and there's so much to learn from him. Uh, he's a, he has an amazing personality. I'm not just saying it because he's my brother. He has an amazing personality. He's, um, he's a go-getter. He's a passionate guy. Uh, yeah. He goes for what he wants. Golf is what turned his life around. Now he's hoping to provide the same for other children. Vincent Cabasso picked up the game in Zambia. He's going to be good at whatever he does. Yeah, he's going he's to excel at whatever he wants to do. Vincent did the impossible. He did the invincible. So Vincent Cabasso is a hero in my eyes, and he should be a hero in everybody's eyes. And you look no further for a role model than this young man, Vincent because he is the epitome and the poster child for what a role model is all about. He is invincible. It's a great achievement to, to us and feel proud, of, especially I'm so alive. The story of Vincent Cabezo is, is a remarkable one and really is an example to, to many young men and women out there in the world. If you have a dream, you follow it and you work hard and that good things will come. And it's a story that so easily couldn't have been. For the first time, he, and he, he got interested in the game, and he, he couldn't just stay home. He was always at a golf club, and uh, every now and then he could come with golfing magazines. My name is Mrs. Bole Triza. I used to be a teacher at Mpelembe Primary School some years back. I used to teach Vincent Cavasso. He was a good pupil. He was very intelligent. Despite him playing golf, golf didn't even affect him. He excelled in most of the, the subjects. I'm a retired Army Major General. I've had 41 years of military service. I'm also a member of uh, Laurel Creek Country Club, where Vincent works with the pro staff. Uh, I've known Vincent for several years, and he's a first-class individual, and he has an amazing story. First, the Pacuya Kuyuki at Tampiro Colanda in the Akuyuki. Number quite you could pitana and in Shiva with you on stand, Tabari for La Conchito. But number Vino Cashan Kuyuki. Nice Sasha accounts in Achuamana so and Pianquetish. So send the Cavie of your tote that you are my Musacamana, Scabuela, Scalabuela, Molen Pepela Coffee. In addition to his golf talent, Vinny has also founded a nonprofit organization and he's also an author. He established the Raised by the World Foundation, which assists students at the University of Zambia and provides used equipment for young golfers. I've been able to see a lot of things happen to me personally through the game of golf. <laughs> Vincent. 
and I ask her to until we can pack our cars, we can book in a corner to my prizes for the fee. I don't know, Pok some black or quite some middle winner, sir. Through growth, ask her, I can't remember. Panamba, a little son, I did here as Toracoman and Pala and no tech pacology. And no man on the summit. Vincent showed a lot of dedication and hard work and through which he introduced and trained a lot of youngsters including my son Steve to take up the game of golf. On behalf of my family we would like to wish him the very best. Uh, what I saw in Vincent to choose him as a national team coach was uh, one, his hard work, uh, two, uh, he was very conversant with the golf and the, on how to train, especially the juniors. I met uh, Vincent when he was very, very young, when I was vice president of uh, Zambia Golf. And I think he was uh, somewhere in the age of between 12 and 13 years old. I would like to say that um, he's uh, done as pride as, as Zambian. One thing I love about Vincent is that he's never shied away from Ron. He's always remembered his grassroots, he's remembered where he comes from, he's remembered the caddies, he's remembered his father. He doesn't forget the sacrifices that uh, his father and the family uh, made for him to be where he is today. Uh, the donation from Vincent uh, Cavasso for the salaries for our workers is most welcome. You know, in this era of the pandemic, it's not uh, very easy to come up uh, with uh, programs that are sustainable for the workers. Vincent was picked for many reasons, but amongst them was his talent and self-discipline. And we were looking for people who would represent Zambia with good character and with the ability to be improved uh, in their game. So Vincent, keep up the good work and all the best to you. So when I got his resume, I proposed it to the committee and said, there's this young man who uh, looks promising, what do you guys think? So after a bit of discussion within the committee and with Concola Copper Mines, who are uh, the sponsors, uh, Vincent was offered a full-time job as a sports coordinator at, uh, at uh, Nchanga under the Corporate Social Responsibility Team, that's CSR. Vincent has, uh, uh, is seen as an icon of um, um, success. In, in Zambian golf uh, for the simple reason that he has a very humble background. Mr. Speaker, we applaud this major professional achievement of Vincent Cabasso and wish his wife Hannah and daughter Joanna all the best.